that that's nothing compared to what's coming up, and it's our spiritual common sense, and, the, and because God is common sense. Divinity is common sense. It's common sense to do good from allowing people to be who they are and to express that energy of compassion, that energy of allowing a soul to be a soul. Of course, there's boundaries and there's lines with that, but in, there is no boundaries in Pisces. Zero. That's the other weird part of Neptune and Pisces since 2011. People are like, uh, even all the Capricorns tried its hardest to hold the line, right? But the boundaries of laws, the boundaries of everything have been thrown out the window. So you, you have to realize that the boundaries are going to be gone. But the positive place is that in a boundaryless zone is where God lives. And those that find that energy and that those that align with that energy are always fine. It always is okay. It works out. And this is a glorious time for people to really step into their spiritual destiny because it was during the 1850s and 56 through, well, fucktard Robert E. Lee felt that was his destiny, but it was more like Lincoln, like I showed in 1858, where Neptune's going to be in 2022. Because I use Neptune degrees because they're exact. There's something, every Neptune 19 degrees, witch trials. All I heard was fucking Trump and fucking Neptune at 19 Pisces. Witch trial, motherfucker, witch trial. And then it's like, oh shit, 1692. Fucking witch trials, 19 degrees, Neptune. Fuck, witch trials. And Pisces too. Witch trials, witch trials. King James. At the uh, beginning of the 1600s, witch trials, witch trials, Neptune, 19 degrees. Not Pisces, but back then I think uh, because it passed the sun, he was a cancer, so cancer. Witch trials, witch trials. Now, when I see Neptune come to 24, 25 of Pisces this year, oh my gosh. It's not witch trials, it's boundaryless energy and moral compass of people should follow this way. They don't understand what's better for them. And then we're going to force it on you. You're not allowed to be free. I don't have compassion for you because you're not morally woke enough. What's the difference from Robert E. Lee's letter and what you see today? You're not morally woke enough because you don't understand that you could pass something to me in that fucking... D -d 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 well, how did we live this whole entire fucking humanity this whole time and the thing doesn't work? <laughs> so how, how, how are you getting that moral compass still? And that's the hardest part, which I'm going to give... Uh, now we're going to get some Leo King truth bombs before we go into this Pluto return. Jupiter and Neptune. What did I say earlier about the Jesus thing? It's like heroin, right? Well, people who got the shot that believe in it so much, it's going to be heroin to get off the feeling that it works, that it doesn't work. No, this is impossible. They didn't tell me that. No, 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 no. But the data is, I mean, they even come out and say it, and it's like denial. No. It still has some efficacy in it. So this is where you're going to see people who still believe in a ideology, a belief of religion now has been created. I actually kind of, I, I, I'm going to say it, I think Tucker Carlson's right when they, the Pope is Pope Fauci, because they, Fauci is selling more kits for Christmas than all the fucking kids shit combined. Popcorn with masks and shit for your house. Jimmy Fallon just saying with Ariana Grande about Christmas alone because we got the shot and we're going to, like, what? It creates massive propaganda, but it also creates addictive elements of subversion to the truth. Like, no, I am in my own, this is what it was because 
how hard is it to deal with what is crumbling away from what you attain that has really been a lie the whole time and is unattainable? So slavery, for example, right? I am a slave owner, let's say. I got my slave three candles here working for me. Keep being candles! Good candles. And then one of the candles goes over to Freeland. And this one goes to Freeland. No! That... They don't know what they're responsible about with freedom. They don't know it. I know what's better, god damn it. I'm not going to lose my one candle. No. I never lost any candles. What are you talking about? I still have. I am an I'm a master. I'm an owner of this energetic psycho energy be good and go back in a row so that's the hard part is that is that psychoanalysis element and the energy of mental health is going to be through the roof and they already and that, that, that I said it last night when, when I was on full disclosure with Natalie, I said, notice how the Surgeon General just put out in America just this week that children and teens are 50% more likely or 25 or 50% more likely now to have mental health issues. But he said, well, I'm concerned for my children because I have children, but of course I'm concerned because they don't have that. <laughs> That's very Hitler Nazi talk, right? Because if you ever, if you, and if I'm going to give you a little insight since we're going through Nazi America and Nazi Germany again and Nazi world. Um, don't say that you're crazy. Or don't ever question that you have family members that are crazy because that's what's coming is a sweeping resolution of, no, we have a way to take care of you. That's what comes through these transits. So why do you think the Surgeon General says, well, no, my children um, are not, and he's always on Zoom. You ever notice that? And it is the worst Zoom. I don't know who the fuck does his Zoom, but it's the worst Zoom on America in the world. I know kids at home that know how to use Zoom better than, I know grandmas that know how to use that shit better than him, and he fucking is up there to search gender role like, but he's smart because he says, my children are not mentally ill, but I'm concerned because they could possibly be because they're using the same analogy as the possibility of contracting something that will kill you. The possibility of contracting mental illness that would be made really bad for you. Oh, we're going to have our solutions for that soon. That's what people aren't seeing, right? Because whenever you see Jupiter and Neptune, this is where the idea became in the 18 late 50s of asylums crazy people used to just run around crazy you know back in the day <laughs> it was the 18 late 18 late 1800s you know that the whole movement against prohibition or the movement for prohibition started in the 1850s as well during jupiter neptune and pisces but it was stopped because there was going to be too many people that were fighting at war and needed to drink in order to have courage enough to go to fucking fight. Did you know that in, I was doing the research on this, of course, during the Civil War, Robert E. Lee wrote that 25% of his units were AWOL, absence without leave. So like he'd have 35,000 guys, 7,000 guys wouldn't show up. They'd be drunk and scared. So this is going to be a time where your spirituality is going to save you and your compassion for people and understanding that they're just, instead of taking the immoral high ground that thinks it's moral, like Robert E. Lee and controlling people and how they've got to be and that they, you know, like, because in the spiritual community and we're all there when we could say you're asleep, uh, they're asleep or they're sheep or they're whatever, 
I mean, I use it for more comedy, but in the deep part, in my real talks, I'm always like, I just, I just feel bad for our whole species at the moment in the sense of like, we're all being divided and we all want to find a way to come together like Lincoln said. But there is this one way or the other that shows up. And I know that we're all trying to find that opposite and think that somehow something's going to bring us together. Like 9-11, that was a real nice thing to bring us together. Yeah, right. Although it was Jupiter and Saturn in Taurus at 22, 23 degrees that met. And then right when Saturn went into Gemini the next year, oh, wait, or uh, Jupiter went into Gemini that next year, oh, wait, what happened? And oh, oh fuck. 9-11? Oh, and that was Mars Retro 2 year that happened. Hmm. Hmm. So, I, I, we're going to have an event, whether we like it or not, that they're going to try and rally us together to go after something that makes no sense at all, like just like Saddam Hussein. There's too many war transits, there's too many things, and this is what I was telling people that were in um, earlier that the VIP was, we've been in this zone that has been trying to understand when something's gonna click, because we're in this unclickable world right now where everything's just like, it's like being in a stick, right? And just like the clutch just, just you're not even getting into gear and the clutch is missing all the time and you're stalling the car. Oh no, 2022 is, not only is it going to come into gear, but people are going to automatically, since it finally happened, it's going to be like, oh, yeah, have you ever noticed in like movies when it's like, oh, I'm in gear, and yeah, whoo, it's going to shift real nice and clean. Clean in the wrong ways and clean in the good ways, you know? Like, whoa. And it's going to be chaotic because of Jupiter and Neptune. Jupiter great brings the greatest storms. Jupiter is the fastest planet every day, Jupiter goes around in a complete orbit, just around like how we one day, right? The Earth goes around in one day. Ten hours over there on Jupiter. Faster than us. And it's the biggest planet. And it has storms everywhere. And it has 67 moons. It's emotional as fuck. Emotions and storms go hand in hand, let me tell you. And what is also Pisces sensitivity? Oh my God, so the sensitive ones are going to be overly overwhelmed, but with drugs and alcohol and these kind of things, we got to be careful of these times to not fall into traps in our own subconscious, our own spiritual, and so forth. To continue this, Pluto return in America is happening, and it will affect ourselves, and it will affect the world, since what is the one currency that is used worldwide that is the currency that runs the world is the U.S. dollar. So they trade oil in U.S. dollars. It's based off the U.S. dollar price. Here's the actual return of 